Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It's been a while, but this is going to be a Lolita vlog featuring a lot of art exhibits that I went to near the end of summer. Sorry it's taken this long to actually make this video, but here we go. So the first exhibit that I went to go see is held by the Glenbow at the Edison in Calgary and this was the Gathy Falk Revelations exhibit. For this exhibit, I decided to go for a simple and cute coordinate with Angelic Pretty's Sweet Girl Room. I really love the framework in this print and I thought that it would suit the art gallery visit. And because it was near the end of summer, it was still really hot. So I went for ankle socks and went very light with just a small head bow for the head accessory. So some background on Gathie Falk herself. She is one of Canada's most respected and beloved artists. She has received international recognition for her paintings, ceramic sculptures, and pioneering work in installation and performance art. She is very active in the Vancouver art scene and really experimented with two and three dimensional art. Currently at 95, she has a very expansive collection and ranges of mediums. She's really known for having playful, vibrant, and also highlighting the importance of the ordinary. I find that her artwork really embraces that imperfection and the textures of the ordinary objects that she does feature. She is the winner of the 2013 Audane Prize for Lifetime Achievement in Visual Arts and is a recipient of the Order of Canada. And this exhibit is really just a small feature of her primary artworks that are considered iconic through her career. I personally really enjoyed the textures of her ceramic pieces and the paintings themselves were absolutely wonderful. This exhibit isn't something that can be truly captured in essence on camera and I feel like if you are able to see her works in person, they are so much better and even more amazing than you could really imagine through watching this video. So I was really impressed with the layouts and the pieces that were featured for this exhibit and I highly recommend checking out Gathie Fox works if you're interested. Alright, so the next one is a Barbie exhibit. This was held also at the TELUS Spark in Calgary and this was my basic coordinate. I decided to go for something basic and cute. TELUS Spark is known for having lots of kids so I didn't really want to take up that much space. So 
So the Barbie, a cultural icon exhibit, features Barbie's 60 years of fashion and inspiration. This exhibit went from 1959 to present day and how pop culture and fashion trends have really shaped Barbie. This exhibit really celebrates Barbie as a reflection of culture with a lot of video interviews and up close personal looks with vintage dolls, the career representations and fashion trends of each era. And I think this is a really fun, interesting exhibit because not only do you see the original Barbie dolls, you can really see how Barbie really means something to everybody. Just as the fans have been influenced by Barbie, she's been influenced by them and the love, the trends, and the cultural milestones. And overall, it was a really fun, colorful exhibit. There were lots of points throughout to actually take Instagram photos at and to observe. It was really fun to observe and see all the little details that have changed over time and even getting a little behind the look scenes of how they create Barbie dolls and what's really changed throughout the years. If there is a Barbie exhibit near you, I definitely recommend checking it out. It's very cool and inspiring to see Barbie throughout the years. All right, so the third corner is for a living history museum. And this video was filmed at the Fort Edmonton Park. Since we're going to a living museum, the coordinate for the day is vintage inspired. I am wearing Innocent World's Loretta Rose in the long tiered JSK in brown, and I paired it with a basic floral head bow. I gotta say, it was still too hot for this dress, but at least I look cute. So Fort Edmonton Park is a wooded parkland area along the Edmonton River Valley and it is considered a living museum with a lot of different sections throughout the park that showcases how people lived in certain times back during the days of the fur trade, the indigenous experience, and during the early 1900s. One of my favorite features of this park is the train. As you guys seen in previous videos on this channel, you know I love trains and riding the Northern Alberta train is one of the highlights for me usually whenever I visit Fort Edmonton Park. I love a good train ride.
So what's new with the Fort Edmonton experience is the Indigenous Peoples experience. So this is a new section of the park that focuses on the Indigenous perspective and experiences throughout the early years of Alberta. And this was a really well done exhibit space. This is something that really moved me in terms of having a space to share and discuss about the Indigenous experience and the steps that they will be taking towards reconciliation. So the other places that you could experience was the 1846 fort and this fort is built out of all wood and it's really aged well over the years. It's a really fun place to experience an amalgamation of both indigenous and European settlers. Hey Dad, it looks like you fell into my trap. And then after that, we moved on to 1885th Street. And they have a lot of places here where you can really observe and see what life was like. And they also have a 1905 street in which that was the first year where women were fighting for their rights to vote. Also down the street was the Goji Berries Tea House exhibit, which feature the history and significance of the Goji Berry in Edmonton. This was the first sort of Asian representation that the park has really put on. There's also a midway and exhibition center near the middle, but we didn't actually head over to there because we ran out of time. It's very easy to get lost in the history of this place. And then the last thing we did was to ride the streetcar. And Little Streetcar is just an extension of the one that I've shown in a previous video. All right, that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this end of summer vlog with a little bit of Lolita in it. Let me know if you've been to any exhibits lately. I'd love to hear all about it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!